help me to do the things that are important to thee. I'm so grateful for all the blessings that I have. Thank you for blessing me in spite of all the things I've ever done wrong, that thou still blesses me and that thou has given me this way to contact people out there even though I live alone. Well, I don't live alone, I'm with Willem, but you know, like nobody else is around. Thank you so much for, well, I can't begin to, to say all of them, for my wood stove, for the people that told me to put oranges and and stuff on the wood stove and make it smell good and and for the people telling me that my skirt looks nice with all the little sparkles and makes me think about what I'm going to wear. And thank you for for my couch outside and all the little birds that come. I'm so grateful for all our blessings and I'm grateful for my family and my children. And I'd like to ask that thou bless everybody that that they won't get too sick with COVID, that uh, that it will that it will just be a growing experience and that we'll all learn to help each other and take care of each other and say good things to each other. And these things we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, nobody's here yet. All right. Well, I haven't read my scriptures in a couple of days. Naughty, naughty. So I think I will try and do that. My video isn't working. It shows a gear wheel type on the screen, the battery, and then it goes off. Ah, I have to tell her she needs to I had to tell Susan how to get her. You just have to refresh, I guess. So my son videoed me this morning, and he played the piano for me, but I can't, I can't hear the piano very much. I knew what he was playing because I could hear bits of it. He's a really good piano player like my husband, like Willem is. All right, well, I have a few things that I wanted to do today. First, let's get some, let's have a cup of tea, shall we? Um, I want to go outside. It's not so cold out. I don't know what the temperature is out there. I should have checked it before I went online. So I've got, let me show you this. Um, let me show you what I accomplished here. So I've got a new cupboard shelf up there. And I think I want to put another shelf up there because look at that mess. Wouldn't it be nice if I could see what's in it? Um, I have to answer Susan. She's looking for me. Uh -huh. Oops. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, okay, so also let me show you what I made for, for dinner yesterday. I made it in the morning. It was so good. Oh, my goodness. It's so good. And there's still a bunch left. But it won't be enough for the whole day, will it? Well, maybe. Yeah, it'll be all right. So let's put it on warm again. Where's the keep warm? So it'll warm it up. But it might burn it. Look at what it's done to the edges already. So I'll have to add a little water. I'm going to vacuum the edge of that. And I guess this has to go outside because you can't put... You can't give them... I'll just throw it out. It takes a while before we can get them for real. I'll keep trying. All right, so let's put this out for the the compost in the flower bed. Good morning, little birds. You still have enough food there? Hey, I bet this is... Pro oh, there you are, Susan, finally. Yeah, I tried to do it on my laptop. And it always wants to come on with, um, I love these slippers. They're the best slippers ever. They were like $6 at Giant Tiger. Here, let me show you, Susan, what I did already, or last night. So there, it's all done up there. And now today, I'm going to do this one. <laughs> I don't want to stand on a chair anymore, though. I think I'm going to use a stool. A step stool. Good morning. It's nice to see you. You know, I used to be depressed. I was very depressed at one point. I had a, a bad family relationship going on. And um, and I would sleep in. You know, I'd sleep in very late. And sometimes this winter I have felt like, what's the point? But um, it's cool to get together like this. So all this has got to come out. 
And somehow I've got to do it. I can't do it with one hand, though. So this is all the, the medical sort of stuff. And this is all cleaning stuff. See, I did put a second shelf in here. This was, oops, this was all just, this top shelf was really short back there. So I added a, a more to the front. Hey, is it tilted? Maybe not. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it is tilted. Yeah. It is. I think I have to add some more hardware to that. But if I add hardware to it, I won't have enough for this other one. Hmm. Well, I wonder why this doesn't have hardware in it. Oh, but never fear. Sometimes I do things the wrong way, right? There. Now I don't have enough hardware for the other ones. But you know, I could probably use something else, like a like a nail. The right size nail, I could just stick it in there. So we have to get that stuff down. Oh, but first I'll have to make some tea. I like having tea. You know, I started I never used to have tea, but I started doing it when we were in Vancouver. Because I had all this I had the teapot, the kettle. I had a little table, and it was so clean in there, and I've never been in a hotel room long enough to really sit around and um, enjoy the amenities. So that was kind of cool, too. So I would make tea. Well, I told you I would go out with my son every morning and to Tim Hortons, and he would buy stuff for his wife, and so he would also buy me tea. Hey, we used up the cookies on the plate, but we still have a few here. Been working our way through them. Hey, turn around. Look at these. I think I'll try them again, but with more eggs. But I'm trying to lose weight, and this isn't helping. I went up to 170. This is my grandmother's Georgie Kenyan Bear. There's a really bad carrot in here. These could go in the... Yeah, they do look good, aren't they? Yeah, oh wait, got to uh, turn it on, the water. Yep, water's on. Guess we'll just get rid of some of these things. Willem is doing the dishes for me lately. So these things can be composted. There was something else. Oh yes, these carrots can be... Ha, my favorite food. When I was young, it used to be frozen strawberries. Hey, you know what I have? I have this awesome oxamel. I haven't had it lately, but I have it in the freezer here. I moved all my fleece bags closer to the door. I was going to put them in front of the door in the bedroom so it wouldn't get so cold in there at night. It was negative 26 last night, but it's going up to zero today. Oh yeah, I want to clean this room. One of my goals. This door needs to go back on the hinges. We had to take it off the hinges to bring this in. Empty box. We don't need an empty box in here. Hey, what if I did it right now? Oh, that's a lot of stuff to do. I don't know. Let's just... Let's just get stuff out of here. Here's another fleece. Oh no, that's not fleece. This is this is these awesome um, mm, spruce needles. Hey, I could put these in the water on the stove. Yes, indeed. I'll take a handful. I seem to be doing a lot of different things. Not. A, Getting anywhere. All right. I'll put this here in that, and we can put 
this back on the stove, but we have to add water to it. All of our fun making eggs on the stove last night. It's fun to cook on the stove, but I don't necessarily want to eat what I cook on it. Let's put some water in that. I used to love frozen strawberries. What else is my favorite food? I really love those yellow squashes. What a mess. I really like having the garden hose here to do this with. But my garden hose is busy upstairs. I got all those buckets. I put them in the bathtub upstairs yesterday because they started to melt and leak. Oh, now I have to make a decision. What kind of tea shall we have? And I never did light the fire yet. Gee, I'm kind of behind. I guess Daniel called while I was doing other stuff. Oh, well, I was taking my pills, so I never got around to do it. We like homemade burgers. Hey, stop. You're supposed to turn off when you do that. Off. All right, so we have leftover tea in here. Mm. See, I have my cinnamon sticks in there. I think I'll have some more of that. My friend made up some tea for me. And she put them in these little bags. I don't know where she got these little bags. They're very cool, though, aren't they? So she's got this blend of stuff she made. I forget what she told me they are, but... I'll have to go and ask her. It's nice that you can get together on here, that you can make friends. Okay, here we go. Tea. And now I need more water in that container. Where did I get that water thing? Got to throw these other containers in the garbage. This one was rotten. Ugh. The mice dug a hole in it. I can't believe I have mice in my house. It's so awful. And then this one I stepped on. Hey, this will be okay because it's um, it was fresh. I'll just add this to my soup. I stepped on it and it opened up. Isn't that awful? Why would it do something like that? Okay, there, and this can of peas, or can of things, I think it might, it was either dirty on, or it leaked, I think, or something else leaked. Willem used that to clean up the floor. So it goes in here. Pretty gungy here, isn't it? Okay, and this is dirty. And this is burnable. Yes, I guess because I'm in the country. Too true. Okay, I'm getting kind of scattered. Let's get the fire going. Lots of ashes today. It was so cold, hey? Eh? Our cold spell is over. It's it's up to thawing today. And it's gonna snow, which means it'll be packy snow. Put some more water in that. Oh, my 
might as well put the orange peels in too, right? Do I have orange peels over here? Yes, indeed. So I sit there and eat at night. Really, a dog works better than a cat. I would love to have a dog, but I, I'm afraid of the ticks they will bring in. I do not want ticks. Ha, I'm going to do that, you know. Look at this. Can you believe that? I have extra room in here now. I even went and brought these in from the sunroom. I have a cupboard in there. I kept them in. Look at this. Isn't that great? I added another shelf and I lowered all of these so that there's, I know now I'm wasting this room and this room instead of having things on their sides, but it's much nicer, isn't it? Much better. So this one, I have to cut the board for it. Here, let's take those down. What am I doing? I'm in the middle of something else though, right? I'm in the middle of, let me put you here. Yes, isn't it lovely? Let's take this down. I'll take this one off so it doesn't fall on my head. These need to go somewhere. Okay. It's a very difficult place to have a cover. Isn't that cool? Did I loan mine to someone? This is beautiful. I bet this was my mother's. Isn't that lovely? It's probably a hundred years old. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh oh, I never got it all out. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of stuff. All right, well, we're going to put some more water in the wood stove first. We have to go back and check on it and make sure it's not time to close it yet. I'll put these over here. things to do, don't I? Yeah, what happened this morning, I was trying to, I was trying to start a video by, on my laptop, but instead of it working, it showed me this black screen with this strange circle on it. I set that stuff up, that soft, streaming software, I set it up once for um, might as well fill it right up because it's going to burn away. It boiled away last night. That's the only trouble with putting things on there. Now I have a nice mess on the floor. Oh, well, it gives me something to do. Boy, it looks like I have a lot to do here, doesn't it? Oh, dear, oh dear. Oh, I should probably plug you in while I'm talking to you. Let's get this thing plugged in your IV. Hey, how come I didn't hear it go beep? I'll just hold on. I'm going to check and see. So I'll drag you around with a wire today. This I got from my knees. I wonder what that thing was. Maybe blood pressure thing. Lemon oil. What did you just say? We will help you? Something's wet. Did this leak? Yes, it's dripping. I guess falling on the floor isn't the best thing for liquid things. Look at that mess up there. All right, I guess these have to go in the bucket. 
bin. I emptied the bin, got rid of a lot of things that were in there, but I guess it just wasn't enough. Vim, what do you use that for? Wood floor cleaner. Boy, my floors really need washing. Wouldn't that be cool if I cleaned the whole house and then I washed the floors? Oh, that would be awesome. Oh, you fell apart. Let's see if I could pick it back up. There we go. Have to hold on to that part, I guess. Let's see what's in here. This is when you need somebody else so you can hand stuff to them. Oh yeah, this is for making for making a big bucket of laundry soap. Oh yeah, some of that kind of hand soap. I don't like using that stuff. Notice that these are all not opened. I don't do chem chemicals generally. Vinegar and water is my go-to. This is for putting the other one back together. And there's all those little screws are here somewhere. There they are. Shouldn't lose them. Willem will help me put the door Help me hold the door. I do need octopus arms. You're right. This stuff is all, it all needs to go on the table, but I should make a slide to slide it all down. I put balls in the dryer. <coughs> is this another one? Look at this. Another heating pad. Wow, I have two more heating pads. Look at this. And an unopened, it's from TJ Maxx. This must be from my mom's. She's in Georgia where they have that store. Band-Aids. I should make up a first aid box. Oh my goodness, what's in this? that there where I can reach it from down below. Oh yeah, packing bags. I bet this is some kind of a windshield cleaner. This doesn't go there, this goes over in there. Who are these? Dryer balls. They lift and separate fabrics, allowing air to flow more efficiently, thus reducing drying time. Huh. Softens fabric naturally. No idea where they came from. I brought home some stuff from my mom's, as you can see. A chamois. She, my dad used to always get us to use them for, look, is this vitamins? Oh, antacid, my mother and her antacid. Oh, and speed starch. Boy, I really did get my mom's stuff, didn't I? That's all gonna cascade. I wrote an article once called Cascading Piles. Acetaminophen. Leather and vinyl cleaner. Oh, I'm glad that lid is still partly attached. Scotch guard. 
Yeah, I should use this on Willem's leather chair. I don't know if it'll work. I think I tried it once. A friend of mine fell asleep with a, hold on, with a heating pad once. He burned a huge hole all the way to the bone. Oh, oh my. Yeah, I use it in my chair when I'm in pain. But I don't sleep on it. You're not supposed to sleep on it, right? Hot and cold compress. Well, these are all lovely things, but they're, none of them are in the right place, are they? Oh, and this is dishwasher stuff, but our dishwasher doesn't work anymore. I have to get that dishwasher fixed. Maybe I should just call somebody, see if they'll come and fix it. It is Omicron time, so I don't know if anybody will come. It's a funny dishwasher. It's got two two drawers. It's really a cool dishwasher when it works. A lot of times people can't figure things out though, you know. Oh, this is quite the project, isn't it? Adding shelves. The shelf I have needs to be cut to fit that. You know that top shelf there yesterday? I it was like a centimeter less on one side than the other. So I had to cut it. See, this side fits almost right to this thing. Look at that. It's ended up being too too narrow. Anyway, and this is way in there. It's the back of the wall isn't fl isn't square. I'm going to keep this whole mess on one table and leave that clean. So I think it's nice when it's clean. if I can. So these things should go for gardening. It's for spraying the bugs, right? Spraying the... This looks like something gross is in it. This came from my mother's carport. I don't really like using acetaminophen. I think it makes you depressed. My doctor said, no, absolutely not. It does not make you depressed. But what do the doctors really know? You can make soap for your laundry. Laundry soap. There's a video on that. Several, probably. I have a lot of things that need rearranging here. Oh, this is to check your water, to see if your water is good or not. What a lot of stuff was in here, eh? These are deep cupboards, along with some mice droppings. Another gallon jar. I always use gallon jars. They're so great. These go over here now because I'm going to put something in there. And these should probably go to the bedroom. To the door where I was going to do it. But you know, it would be nice if I got my loom set up and then I could weave it. Okay, and this is ready to close. Yeah, and depression is no joke. Who wants to be depressed? It's a horrible way to live a life. I've been depressed. I've been there, done that. There. Of course, when that boils, it's going to splash over. I'm not going to think about it right now. Any box of boxes.
These are for putting our dryer clothes on when they come out. I wonder if this has got any liquid, any, this is very dry. I suppose it's the day to water the plants, isn't it? Leather and vinyl cleaner. It's nice when this, when I leave some stuff clean. Other people have told me, how come every time there's an empty space, you fill it up? You know, I really should be doing those other projects instead of all these new projects. No idea what I've put in all these, if it was me at all. I have that one. Through all the little screws to put my cupboard doors back on. It's important. Two, four, six, eight. Ha! Who do we appreciate? I may have to go to the store to get more of these. All right. Is that empty up there now? I hope this is fun for you. I don't know if anybody's here. Seven people turning a big mess into something decent. Where were these? Ah, I know. They were here. Wait a minute, this is pineapple. And this is pineapple and that's corn behind it sandwich spread. I have my own little grocery store in here. Pretty cool. Eh? I hope you guys have food storage. Some of them are kind of old. This one looks like I should use it. I think it was nearby something else. I have to check. You can't have... I have a dented can here too. I need to use that before it, it goes bad. All right, let's check again. Oops. Ugh. Look at that, almost done. I don't like vacuuming up that stuff because then the smell of it blows out of the vacuum cleaner. I wonder if you could put something in the vacuum cleaner to make it kill all the germs of what's coming through. All right, so. Where are we at now? Okay, let's stir this soup. See if we have to add something to it. Yeah, we could add stuff to it. What should we add? I'll have to wash my hands. This has coconut oil on it. Carrots. Well, I don't have any fresh carrots, but I do have dehydrated carrots. Let's see where they are. What is that? That's hot cocoa. What's that? That's onions over there. Well, let's go get some dehydrated carrots, okay? You wonder why I'm going all the way up the stairs. I don't have canned carrots. No, not another mess. All right, here they are. Dehydrated carrots. What's that one? That's carrots too. I'll take this one. 
let's hold it. Okay. Hey, you wanna see stuff in here? I brought up the rest of the bale of hay. Looks like it's thawing nicely. Whoa. It's melted. It's leaked. Wonder if this can now be removed. Nope. It's very full. I have a a cloth I was using to clean it up. I had quite the little flood in here yesterday from all those containers. I had a container sitting on top of this container and I realized that as it thawed, it would make that all spill over. And this container, I don't really hold it. Shall we eat some, have some sprouts this morning? Pumpkin sprouts, of course. Whoops. Oh, some of them are a little wilty. Better eat them right up. Gotta do it before they get three leaves. So once they get three leaves, they don't taste very good anymore. Oh, I guess I should turn this light on. Well, not yet, I guess. It doesn't need it because it's just... Those are seeds in here. But I think I need water in those. I think I have to water everything up here. But we're focusing on carrots right now. This is where I sit to talk to you. I made that nice shelf with those plants on it. Tried to s illuminate some of what was in the... These are the containers that are thawing. Should turn the heat on in here so they thaw better. Okay. Big mess. Everywhere I go, it's a big mess. We should move. <laughs> all these cleaning. I make all these cleaning videos, and yet it's still a big mess. It's always a big mess. Okay, so we have these we're going to eat, but we're not going to eat them right now. We'll eat them later. So right now we're going to gonna do this. Yikes! I guess the best way to deal with this is to take it outside and dump it outside. I emptied everything out. And I'm going to wash them up. Always happens when I go outside. I guess you've noticed that, eh? Alright, so that needs to be washed out. Hot. Ooh, I mean, cold. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ice cold. Whoa. I'm going to let it run for a minute in case I need to use it again. Okay, so we're going to revive our food here. So I'll put you, I'll turn you around and put you over here somewhere. I wonder if you can stick to this. So let's, let's get a washcloth and clean off the top of this carrot thing. Ah, got one. Good idea letting it run. Okay, so we'll clean this off. All right, and then we have our... You know, if you're prone to mice, if you keep everything in a... Ugh, this doesn't go in. Boy, this is rough. My sweetheart. Oh, your sweetheart is doing good. I saw her this morning. She was in the bathroom in the mirror. In the 
mirror? Yeah, that's where I saw your sweetheart. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you sleep well? Um, How was your itchy hand? Did it itch again last night? The hand is fine, but there's still some itch. So there's still some itch for the part of the body. I'm making a live video. Hey, do you think you could undo, open this can for me with your strong hands? Um, I'm not sure. Is my arthritic hand? Your strong hands. I have to pinch. It's not cutting. Yeah, it was. But... Is it? No, it's. Oh, now it's not cutting again. <clears throat> It's kind of difficult. That's why I asked for help. Yeah, and I can't do it. You can't do it? No, that's amazing. Okay, I can use a, a knife. Uh, do we have, uh, have another can opener? Do no, but I have a knife. Okay, well, be careful. Thank you. It's pulling the whole top apart from the bottom. That's good. Oops. Look at that. Well, we have some carrots here now. We can use. Even though the lid won't really come off properly. Mm, darn. All right, well, we have carrots, so this is the dried carrots. Tom, so we'll get ourselves a measuring device. Oh, they're all still dirty in that bucket. I guess I'm gonna have to do dishes. We'll use this. Now these, it says on the can, will, how much water do you add to them? Measure one carrots to two measures water. Drain off excess after 20 minutes. So one measure of this to two measures of water. You're back, Rose. It's nice to see you again. I hope these videos are helping to make winter a little better. Certainly is nice for me to have somebody to talk to while I do stuff. 
All right, so we'll add that. Carrots, and we'll add some more lentils. And, well, this is the leftover soup from yesterday, and it was, originally, it was onions and squash and the other half of this. And, and there was some left, but not enough. So I'm adding things to it. So Susan suggested carrots. It's not going to be soup. Well, it'll sort of be soup, but I'm going to add more of this and this, I think. I added some carrots. I could add some more carrots. Where'd my little lid go I was using to measure with? My measuring lid. How could you lose it? Like, really? I think I need a new one of those, or maybe this is just not a good one. Oh look, here's a little measuring container. A scooping container. Okay, now I also have onions. Oh wait, that's apple slices. Uh-oh, these onions are also not open. Seems like I opened one. I don't know where it is though. Let's try op oops, let's try opening this can. I hope it works better than the last try. Yes, I think it's going to work better. Let's turn you around. You can sit over here and watch this watch this happen. One, two, oh, it's kind of tight. <clears throat> Three. <clears throat> I wonder how many times you got to go. Four, five, six. Now, if I had a drill hooked up to this, I could just easily do it. I wonder if it's possible to attach a drill. Seven. Oops, there's a little place I didn't get. Eight, nine. Ten. This is where I give up. Hey, Willem. Mm -hmm. This one's better. You want to try this one? It's the same. No, it's this? a different one. Look what I did. I was able to dis take the whole lid off of here. Good. Look at that. Thirteen. Oh, you're not in deep enough. Back up to here. Oh, no, that's okay. It's It worked. Fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Wow, you're a pro. Nineteen. It's no wonder I ask you for these things. Twenty. Twenty-one. Oh, that's not doing it. Oops, that's not doing it either. Okay, I have to let go again. Okay, it was too much for your hands. Yeah. All right. Maybe if you tilt it. Oh, look, it works if you tilt it. Now it's not catching. Look, it's almost all the way around, though. You can squish it in. And squish it in. A lot of good your food storage is if you can't open the cans. So this, these cans, you can buy these from my church. They're like six or seven dollars each. Maybe it's gone up a little more, but the Church of Jesus Christ. And they have these, um, canneries all over the place. Okay, we did it! Ha ha ha! I bet you could use this for something. Bet you could Google it. Okay, look. Onions. I love onions. One, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, that's good. Now, I usually have these little white lids that go on there, but I don't know where my lids are anymore. Yeah, this kind, it was pretty good for a while. It's called Good Cook. It was from the dollar store. I think it's probably good, maybe, depends. Like some, this kind of can is thicker. 
some they make a lot of oh you made tree ornaments I wonder if you could like um, sand the edge of that with a grinder so it's not so sharp okay let's turn oh you are turned around all right let's put you over here and we will get to work we're gonna make put the cabbage and the stuff in it again get a knife Get a different knife. If I do this first, then when I cut it, it makes little pieces. It was so good, this soup I made. With the chicken broth and cabbage and onions and a half of a squash. These are rather big squashes. I'd rather he buy little ones so that I don't have to use so much of it. Now this works well until you get to the core, but the core doesn't taste very good. So there's the core. How much of it should I use? See, the rest will go bad if I don't use it. We'll use it. I'm going to put this on pressure cook now. Back up to six minutes. You know what's really good with cabbage is chicken. Boil some chicken. I don't think I have any chicken. I have a sausage. I don't I don't really stick with one project too long, do I? Like I'm in the middle of finishing that first cupboard I did yesterday putting the doors back on. I had to wait for Willem to get up to help me with that. And then um, I'm now emptying out the second one. So you have to core there, so you have to just go around the core. The core is not as tasty. People make coleslaw. Okay. Okay. So I need some lids for this or I have to put them in gallon jars. I guess gallon jars are probably the best idea. Thank you so much for using them in the sunroom. Okay, and then I'll take these nice little seeds out. These seeds will all grow. I told you that yesterday. This is the best kind of squash. grow it upstairs you know and let it let it stay upstairs all the, the whole time and let them grow boy it's like playing with play-doh hey you know what I could make play-doh for the grandchildren and take it over they don't have school this week School seems to be a thing of the past. Boy, I think I would have loved not having school when I was little. We would have just sat in front of the TV every day. Watched Mary Tyler Moore, Dick, Dick Van Dyke, 
I think Mary Tyler Moore was later. Okay, so these go in here. I have all those from yesterday, but I can't put more in because then they won't dry properly. Oh, look, there's my little lid. How did it appear again? What did you say, Susan? I missed it. I have a little bit gooey problem here right now. I think that this soup is going to need to have some more... I have to wipe my hands. I think the soup needs is going to need more liquid. So good yesterday. Do you find that sometimes you make something that's really good, you want to make it the next day and the next day and the next day, and then finally you run out of ingredients or something? Okay. So now this, I have to use a spoon and gut it. So what else did we watch on television? My Favorite Martian. That was in the evenings. In the daytime, there were some good ones. There was the Dick Van Dyke Show. Oh, and there was My Three Sons and Leave It to Beaver. Those the good old days. Back when TV, they didn't advertise feminine products and crap. Caught it. Ha! Save. I've already washed this. So they go in. I can squish them later. Okay, and then we need... Oh, Beverly Hillbillies. Yes, definitely Beverly Hillbillies. That was a good one. I've been... Oh, and, and I Dream of Jeannie. That was so good. He was so handsome. What was his name? Haldeman or something? Okay, look. Without my cupboard doors, I can see everything that's in there. I should probably sort those down there, too. Mm. Broth. I thought about you saying, oh, who's here now? Let's see who's here. Oh, I've been missing everything. Look at how much talking is going on. Wow, I have to just go up and up and up. You guys are having a great day. Finally got it very nice. Me also, if you don't need to set phone down, I don't care. Them cookies look good. Look, what is your favorite food? Hi, Fiona. I like lasagna. Fiona, what's yours? I like homemade burgers. I do love fruits and veggies, too, all kinds. Fiona, hi, Susan. I'm not a real big meat eater. My son is, so I eat more than I want to. That's because you're in the country. I get one or two here and there. I have a dog. I think that works better catching mice. He don't catch them, but it scares them, maybe. Gorgeous avalanche. Little, oh, yes, my avalanche. Um, we will help you clean. Thank you. You need octopus arms. A friend of mine fell asleep with a heating pad, burned a hole. That's, that was sad. I think it does it too. Tylenol, yeah, I think Tylenol causes depression. What? Your 16 year old son was shot to death in 1998? Oh my gosh. Oh, how awful. Oh, how awful. Yes, depression is an awful thing. It comes from all that stuff that we have to go through on the earth. But we'll talk about that another time. I appreciate Nancy. Yay! Carrots, or canned carrots. Hi, everybody, Rose. Hi, Rose. I'm glad you're back. How'd your doctor's appointment go yesterday? Everything lovely, I suppose. Good morning, Rose. Hugs to you, Susan. Sorry for your loss. Was reading a few lines above just now. Willem to the rescue or not. Thank you, Rose. Yeah, those are hard times. It gets easier over time. Well, my son has schizophrenia, Abraham. And, um, anyway, I can only imagine. Sorry. See, she did it. I would have cut my hands off by now, Nancy. Just carries on unscathed. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't cut myself. I thought I might have. I was thought there was a little touch of red somewhere. But no, I guess I'm all right. Such a wonderful lady, Rose. I feel like I've known you forever already. Jeepers, Nancy. Susan is, that, that is the greatest comment. Yeah, Rose and Susan, I feel like I've known you guys forever, too. So what I'm making is soup um, or something. Making the pandemic better, too. Yes, good. It's I'm glad. Nancy, you and our friends here mean the world to me. Has truly changed. Oh, that's awesome, Rose. 
Hi, Lois. Now, who's Lois? She Did she speak up? Oh, Lois Poe. Po. I've been answering your comments from years ago. It's fun, eh? Hi, Lois. Nancy is wearing my... I like... You know, I had to think about what I was going to wear today because you guys said I look so good in my sparkly stuff. And so I thought, oh, well, I'll wear sparkly stuff again. And I changed twice. Here, we better put this chicken soup in here. Chicken broth really is good. But you know what I think made the difference was that Jamaican spice. All right, I think that's as much as you're allowed to put in. So this is this is carrots, onions, lentils, that stuff, and cabbage. That is that stuff is called. Where is it? I have two of them. Here it is underneath. This is called a buttercup squash. They are the very best. Okay, I was finishing reading. What did you guys say? That's a large can. Yeah, they're number ten tin cans, and they're so awesome. And you can. Buy them from any of the canneries. The church has canneries everywhere. You have to call the church. You can find it in the Yellow Pages or Google it, I guess. And I think it would be called the Bishop's Storehouse. And Nancy will prevail. <laughs> I did. I could not find a good can opener to replace. I made tree ornaments can lids. That's awesome. Tin snips. I sanded edges, cut them into stars. Oh, neat. I have tin snips. I was once going to do stuff like that. Old Girl Scout here, always and forever. Wow, they sound pretty. I am covering Nancy's gold sparkling, coveting. Oh, don't bother. I'm like an old crow. Anything's me too. You know, I think that. Well, you're you're native, and I think that native was it you? No, it was Timmy that was native. But I think that um, you know they traded things for sparkly, and in the woods there's not much sparkly, and so we all like sparkly stuff. I think. Okay, where are we going? That knife looks like it's 10 feet long. Yes, it is. Silly goose is one of my favorite expressions. You silly goose. Yeah, we used to say, have a bird. Oh, my mother's going to have a cow or have a bird or something. Silly goose. I make coleslaw, but I love cabbage and soup. I always say that to the neighbor boy. What your what hurts? I don't hear him. He laughs so loud. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you say that too. Oh, he's good for giggles. I've never put squash in soup before. Summer squash, yes, acorn squash. Oh, yeah, it's not the acorn. The acorn is good, but it doesn't taste as good as the buttercup. Beverly Hillbuzz. Good morning, Susie Q. Yeah, those ads are a bummer. Larry Hagman. Oh, that's him. Yes, from... from I Dream of Jeannie. Oh, wasn't that great? And he was never really interested in her. Like, it was the perfect co combination, and they, you know. I enjoyed your comments, Nancy. Thank you for... Oh, yeah, it's fun, isn't it? I'm not native. Native wannabe, maybe. I'm 49% Scottish. I just found... My relatives said that we had Scottish in our ancestry, but I finally found one person with Scottish... It was from Scotland, and I couldn't find any further. Okay, so I think this is ready. What else do we want? We want to put in some... I have to put something better on this end to hold it, because this little container... I can't really connect this little shelf very well. And every time I take my thing off it... Oh, really? So this is running curry powder, Jamaican style. And it's so good. And it doesn't say what's in it. It just says spices, dehydrated garlic. So I like a lot of spices sometimes. This, and then let's see what else. We've got chopped garlic here. I put that in yesterday. That was really good. Garlic is good if you're all eating it. Nobody, nobody minds how awful it is. And um, what were the other things I added? Ginger. And pepper. Black pepper. 
I might have added other things, but okay, that ought to do it. I think I added some of this garlic leaves. This was imported in Montreal, Quebec, but where did it come from? They don't have to say anymore. May contain mustard, soy, sesame seeds, wheat in this. Look at that little bit of stuff at the bottom, this little white stuff down there. Oh, you've never had curry. Curry is so good, especially in rice. Like if you make rice and you put curry in the water, and then you add your ri rice at the right time. It's so good. Okay, so I'm going to pressure cook this in my instant pot. Make sure that this is over to the right side. If you put it wrong way, like to vent it, I think curry has turmeric in it. If you Google what the ingredients are, you can ask her. Okay, Google, where are you? Listen to that. She says an ingredient is part of a mixture. I didn't even ask her. She's listening all the time. So let's ask her what's in curry. Okay, Google. What's in curry powder? On the website allrecipes.com, they say, curry powders usually consist of turmeric, cumin, ginger, and black pepper. Some blends also incorporate garlic and cinnamon. What all curry powders share is a sweet warmth and pleasant pungency that adds a toasty depth to everything it touches. I also found an answer to this question. What exactly is curry powder? Do you want to hear it? Oh, yes, please. Sorry, I don't understand. Yes. Yes, I'd like to. Okay, Google, I would like to hear it. Yes, please. I'll do my best. Well, anyway, so that's what's in curry. These are, I had all those Christmas trees. They're spruce, so it should smell like spruce here soon. But I didn't really smell a lot like cloves and cinnamon yesterday, just a touch. I've been trying to wrap up wires and do that so I know they don't work anymore. Let's go up to the children's room. Or to the bathroom, I guess, for Maya. He put those in there. Now I'll never get them out. I want to throw this bat thing away because he just used it to hurt people. Oh, well. Okay, look at that. We've got breakfast going. Well, not breakfast. That was breakfast. <laughs> I think I'll chuck it. I need some lids. I guess I should put them in glass jars because... You know. You understand, don't you? So I'll need two glass jars. This lid has a hole in it. I wonder if I could put super glue in there. So need to use super glue on this my lovely cup which is leaking a little bit where's the crack this will make it look ugly but at least I'll be able to use it said only use one drop, but one drop wasn't enough. Because it leaked. I also need to use this on that.
container upstairs. I might as well go do that right now. Hi, Jeannie. Nice to see you again. A domestic bliss. Before you, what did you say? Before you screw on the lid on Nancy, you should cover the jar with paper to keep bugs out of your jars. Oh, interesting idea. All right, so this one is having a problem here. I like it when they make these in little tiny containers because otherwise you end up not using it and it goes bad. Okay. Hmm. We may have to hold it for a moment. To smear it all over the edges, but can't do that if I have to hold it. Starting all over again. Yeah, I'm not going to get stuck to it, hopefully. Oops. But you never know. This all comes from having, yeah, wax paper. I do that sometimes. It's gonna be rough. I'm gonna put you down. Let's see where I can put you. See, knock you on your head. Oh, I got a little on my fingers. Woodworkers would use something like um, those clamps. Oh no! doesn't want to stay. Come on guys, let's let's get this thing on the road. <laughs> Maybe not. This is Gorilla Glue. starting to stick. If I push it up against something, that would be best. But then I have to turn it around. I'm surprised it won't just stay there. I 
Maybe I'll put some more on the outside of it. Oh, I'm going to have to do something else for it, shouldn't I? What should I do? I thought this was just easily going to work. Didn't know it was going to be a big project. This cracked when I brought it in from out, or when I picked it up outside. All right, what can I use to hold it together? What have I got close by? I think I have to turn it around and put it against the other thing. to get my loom going again. I have to get the, I have to re, um, whatever it's called. So what can I push this against? I know. I have this big gallon jar. If I put a rope all the way around it, I don't have any rope in here. It's the bottom part that makes the most difference. Hey, it's starting to stay together. Look, I can use take one hand off. So what have you been saying here? Oh my, book suggestion. A woman of a certain age, me, sparkle on. Woman aging in gratitude, Kindle edition by Kim Kane, a Minnesota author. I loved it. I strive to sparkle now. Hand weaving. Gold duct tape sounds pretty... Inventor of duct tape is a genius. I was going to say duct tape. I super glued all my pegs into my small hand weaving loom recently. You have gold duct tape. Yes. Duct tape. I had to quit buying it. What is it? I always use too much super glue when I super glue. Great tip with wax paper. Me and super glue because fingers stuck together. Yeah, the seize the moment, that's the thing, eh? Keep bugs out. Welcome to domestic bliss. <laughs> yeah, you should try curry. Curry's awesome. Okay, let's see. We can oh no, can't let go of anything. Oh, if I don't hold it until it dries, I wonder how long it takes. This could really impact my having my tea. <laughs> so if I push it against something, what if I turn it upside down? It'll probably stick to the container. I think if I put a rope around it, it would help. It would work. Duct tape. I'll go get duct tape. But then this is not going to be of any use because it's going to go. Oh, yes, I have hot melt glue. So, Susie Q, you do cross-stitching. I love wood glue. I have a lot of broken wooden things that I go around fixing. Wood glue. It helps if they're actually touching each other properly. Got a little bit on my finger. Well, we'll just look at other things here. Look out there at that lovely view. Over there at the deer place. I'll tape it later. 
But if I let go of it, it'll all dry in the wrong positions. It looks like it's kind of drying now. Some of it. Stuff breaks. Yeah, there was a Lao Tzu. He was a, a great whatever. Yeah, I'll leave the duct tape on. That's a really good idea. I didn't feed my deer yet. I did bring the bag over to the... under there. That is called this place down there. I stitched a lot of 14 karat a lot. My eyes aren't that great. Interesting. Yeah, my eyes are not that great. And you know what? The, oh, look at low battery. No. Jeepers. What did you make break when you fell? I can't pick you up because I have to let go of this. All right, I'll let go of it. I'll pick you up. And you're on low battery. There we go. Overkill is often a good thing. Look at this. It's not sticking. Do I give up? Uh-oh, I touched it. All right, well, I'm afraid if I go get the duct tape, this will all dry, and I won't, but I'll just hurry. Don't get distracted now. Duct tape for the bin. 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 Duct tape for I'm I'm got it now. We're good. All right, so where will I put you so you can see while I do this? All right. Let's see. Uh-oh, I'm stuck to my phone. Okay. Yeah, sometimes you get intermission. I do it straight, Nancy. No, I can't because it's still good. My mother used to use duct tape for everything. She would send me packages and she would, because I lived in Canada, she really helped out a lot with raising these children. She would send me lots of children's clothes and shoes and boots and coats. She was amazing. I was so lucky. for the duct tape idea. I need that. Okay, should I leave duct tape up here? Probably so. All right, there, we did it. Anything else needs to be glued? I better take them back down, actually. Super glue. Oops. And duct tape. All right. Should probably clean up these toys while we're here. I think that would be a good idea. I won't leave those there. The children will definitely do bad things with them. Stick themselves together. So if I use this drawer, which goes under here,
I should probably get rid of most of these toys. And the children don't use them anymore. They're the same toys they've had for a long time. What a pretty little egg somebody made. Well, I think Maya does use these big legs of things. new toys from the dump. I know, that's not a toy. Huh, which way were you looking? I didn't know that you were looking the wrong way. Oh, those don't go in here. That's the wrong size, too. You weren't looking, eh? You had other things to do. You understand? This is supposed to inspire you to do stuff, not to just sit and watch all day, of course, but that's fine, too. Look at that, a spot of clean. Yes, I agree. More fun watching others work. This is for hanging stuff up outside. These were for making some kind of a shape. You know, like taking little people, making little things out of them. Of all these little bits to try and make things from. I guess I should do it. If I do it with you, that would be incentive to do it, won't it? These, some of them they might like, but like the big ones, they might play with this, but a lot of those little bits 
probably no good. It's telling me I have a low battery again. That'll be intermission, right? The little cars are probably good in the dinosaurs. But those other things are probably not. Hmm, never saw that. These are good. They like making things with these. Oh, little eyes. I like these little guys. there was a way to go back through these live videos and edit and like separate the cooking part. I'm sorry you don't have little kids. There's something stuck under the bed under there. So this won't go in all the way. I have to reach in under there. But I don't feel like doing that, do you? I gave away the rest of this. Now, I, see, I still have parts. There we go. Crocodile. Okay, this is garbage. This just goes downstairs. And this should be used for planting things. I should wipe up that water there. Where did that cloth go? I'm gonna, first I'm gonna remove some of the water. deal with that now. What do I do with all these rocks? Do I dump them out the, dump them off of the roof? Where would they go? Oh, it's a lovely day. Oh my goodness, it's not freezing out. Now, maybe these should be used in the children's room. What do I want to use them for though? I don't know. This used to have a record player in it when I was young. Must be a pretty old box. Look at that. Nice clean room. Almost clean. Let's fix up these books here. 
dinosaurs. Let's put all the dinosaurs in here. The frog can go in there too. You remember playing with those barrel of monkeys? They used to come in a little barrel. Okay, we're going to expand to all animals and creatures. A little troll doll. Remember when we used to have damn dolls? That's what they were called back then. They were a big deal. I had a bunch of these. They used to make noise. Do you remember when little Tyler came and we put them in Buried him somewhere. Okay, that's good. Peace and quiet without making all this noise. Okay. little boys in their stuff. This was in the tent. They had used it for camping. Need to put a new pillowcase on this. All right, let's see what we've got here. Oh, more things that go in there. This goes in the kitchen. The kitchen is in here. This is Maya's bedroom. Actually, this isn't the kitchen. This is the kitchen over here. Oops, oh, it's on the floor. I'm gonna vacuum it up here sometime. Look at that, I tried to make something. This should go somewhere else. Perhaps in here. Oh, and I'm going to do this when I'm sitting around with you. This is dandelion, oh, what is it called? Dandelion. Going to finish it. Oh, yes, and I have to do this. But I have to bring up a, bring up something to turn that with. And what's the situation here with all these Plants. This is ice. So they're all frozen still. That's all right. I've got the heat on in here. Eventually it will be fixed. Or melted. This does not stay in here. We'll take it down. All right. We've got canning jars. These are full of what? This is Swiss chard. You can't see that, can you? They're all Swiss chard. Where do they go? I guess they could go in here. And these things are too small for them now, I suppose. Maybe not. Well, yes, they probably are. I'll take them down and they can check them out. What's in this one? Swiss chard and oyster mushrooms. Green Swiss chard, what's in here? Swiss chard. A lot of Swiss chard we did last year. Okay, so I'll put you over here. I should move these jars to there. And this 
goes over there too. This is Marcia's chart and zucchini squash, I think. Willem has really been doing a great job with all that. This whole cupboard here is canned foods. I think children need to have eyes. roll this back up. Oh yeah, I, I've been told a couple times that you're going to run out of battery, so I'll have to go and plug you in. What did it say here? I can't read it. It's a pretty view outside. You can tell when it's not so cold because the trees don't look as white. These are gray, a, a less gray. They even look black. Shall we play Balderdash again? That was so much fun yesterday. This is so great, you know. I'm getting my house cleaned up. It's better than sitting around watching television, I must say. Which is what I usually would do.